Confidence. Probably one of the most important, if not the most important trait to have to succeed in almost anything in life. And a lot of us struggle with it. And I gotta be honest with you, I've even struggled with being confident for many years of my life. I've always struggled with being able to pronounce certain words or being able to speak full sentences. I'd always be worried of what others thought of me every time they heard me speak and screw up on a word or a sentence. I'd be worried that they'd make fun of me. I still struggle with it. Yet, yeah, I'm still here filming videos for social media and I'm gonna continue to because it's what I love. So yeah, over the years, I learned ways how to gain a whole lot more confidence. So that's why I'm making this video today. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five easy ways to become more confident. What's going on guys? My name is Abraham Carella and I make videos about men's fashion, lifestyle, health, and fitness. So if you like any of that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I know not a lot of the issues that I had, everyone else has. So I just picked five easy ways to boost your confidence that most people can probably use. So starting off with number one, you want to focus on your style. A lot of us, including me, wish we were probably a little bit taller, and some of us probably wish we were a bit shorter, but that's something we just can't change. One thing that we can change, though, is our style. Looking good makes you feel good. A lot of people will try to look their best for a one-time occasion, kind of like a date, a work meeting, or even like an Instagram post, but could care less about how they look and present themselves any other time. But why not try to look your best all the time? Fun fact, studies have shown that people make judgments of you within the first 30 seconds of meeting you. So first impressions are everything. Whether it be a date, a work meeting, or just walking by someone on the street. When you think about it, would you prefer these people that you just meet to remember you as someone who looked like a mess or someone who looked like they had their life put together? You always want to make sure that you're looking good and you're looking your best when you're out and about because knowing that you look good and that you're making a good impression on the people that you meet definitely boosts your confidence tremendously. A lot of us, probably all of us, have items in our closet that we just don't feel comfortable in it. It might fit us awkwardly or it might look very old and worn out, it might look a little bit sloppy, yet we still wear it, we still put it on, we still have it hanging in our closet and it's just taking up space. There's, there's no need to have it. So first thing I'm gonna say with this is to go through your entire closet. Look at each item, pick out items that you don't wear, you don't feel good in, you don't feel like you look good in. And just ask yourself, would I feel 100% comfortable and confident in this item? And if not, get rid of it, donate it. You don't, you don't need it in your closet anymore because if every single item in your closet makes you look and feel good, then you have no other choice but to always look and feel good. Second easy way to boost your confidence is you wanna start focusing on how you smell. Now you may look good, you may look presentable, but do you smell good? You could be the sharpest looking guy in the room, but once you stand up and walk by someone or get up close to someone and all they can smell is B.O., that does nothing but destroy the image that you're trying to portray. So just knowing that you not only look good, but you smell amazing too, and knowing that everyone around you is thinking the same exact thing throughout the day, that's a huge confidence boost. So I would say to start smelling good, start taking care of your daily hygiene, then move on and try to get some good smelling cologne. I'd say a good start is two to three bottles. That way you can switch throughout the fragrances during different occasions. All right, now moving on to the next thing, it's gonna be your skincare, man. I am shocked how many guys still do not take care of their skin either because they just don't care or because they think they're too manly for it. Your face is the first thing that people notice about you. In fact, it is the thing that they are staring at 90% of the time that they're talking to you. And nobody wants to look at dirty and oily skin when they're talking to you, right? Not only that, but it's kind of gross to not wash your face daily when you think about it. Throughout the day, our skin gets covered in dirt, sweat, bacteria, and dead skin. So if you're not doing it yet, it's time to start exfoliating and washing your face. It helps reduce ingrown hairs and pimples, and it's gonna keep your skin looking clear and smooth for years to come. Meaning the older you get, it's gonna take a lot longer for you to start getting wrinkles if you start taking care of your skin now. Your skin 20 years from now is going to thank you, I promise. So when you do your skincare, make sure you exfoliate, you wash your face, and you moisturize. Moisturizing is so important. Fourth, easy way to boost your confidence is gonna be to stay healthy. First way to stay healthy, everyone knows it, is work out. Not only does it help you maintain a good physique, build some muscle, which everyone wants, it's obviously a huge confidence boost, but it's also great for your mental health as well. And I'm not saying you gotta work out for an hour every day. Something as simple as a 15 minute workout. Working out daily can help boost your energy, your mood, it can relieve stress and anxiety. Second way to stay healthy is, I know a lot of people hate it, it's kind of hard at times, but to eat healthy. Eating healthy can help determine your mood, your focus, your energy, and 
than your physical performance. And yes, I agree, it is hard. I still struggle with being consistent with eating healthy a lot of the time, but you gotta do it at some point. If you wanna take the next step at boosting your confidence, this is a huge way to do it. You just gotta do it because eating healthy is gonna make you feel entirely better, I'm telling you. You'll be happy with yourself knowing that you're taking care of your body. After eating healthy for a good amount of time, your body is gonna thank you for nurturing it by making you feel better than ever. But after a while, others will start to take notice of your appearance and your mood, but you'll start to feel a whole lot more confident knowing that you feel good on the inside and out, and also knowing that others around you can see it too. And the last step to help boost your confidence, this is probably the most important step, but you gotta change your mindset. And I've said this before, but only you know exactly who you are. Nobody else in this world knows you as good as you do, not even your mom. People don't know what you've been through and what you've overcome to be where you're at today. Only you know what you're capable of. So all I gotta say is don't let the negativity from others make you think otherwise. We live in a big world where people were at one point in the same position as you and they ended up figuring out a way to get around their problems. They finally reached their goals and they're probably living the life of their dreams, the life that they've always dreamed of right now as you're watching this video. So if they did it, why can't you? Another thing to think about is we all end up in a grave at some point. We all end up down in the ground. No matter how much more talented someone is than someone else, we're all gonna end up in the same spot. You're never gonna be able to experience this life again so why not take advantage of this one chance and make the most out of it i don't care what problems you had in the past you've got to figure out a way to get around that so that you can live the life that you desire in the end do you want to end up playing in the grave with all the experiences and the memories that you wish you could have that you're dreaming of right now or would you rather end up laying in the grave, not being able to have experienced any of that, living an average life with a lot of bad memories you probably would want to forget? So last thing I got to say is it's time to make some changes. It's time to get moving. But that's all I got for today, guys. So I hope these five steps will help boost your confidence a little. You don't have to start with all five right away. Just start with one, pick one. They're all pretty easy to start with and then move on to the next. And eventually you'll get all five. And this is just an easy way to start to boost your confidence over time. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i will see you all in the next video peace